This is my second clip, and I'm sorry, but I'm very leery of showing the screen anymore because YouTube, Google just really fusses. The source is yahoo.fr. This is just my computer page when I open a program and I've selected Yahoo. Uh, the further source is slate.fr, S-L-A-T-E dot F-R. Uh, and today is the 28th 24, uh, of July 2014. It uh, cites that the New York Post on the 27th of July published something that said more than 2,500 first responders and people who were working on the Ground Zero site in New York have gotten cancer. And I do know I have one friend who lived on Rivington Street nearby who said it took six months to get the dust out of his apartment. He was a very, very vigorous guy. He was young when he died. I believe he was well under 60. And right away he got bone cancer and then kidney cancer. and He did die in May of 2010. And another guy I know had an apartment on NASA Street in Wall Street and his health has been a wreck ever since. He's 66 now. But this guy was so fit. This was an exercise freak. You know, he was always working out, careful about his diet. You know, I'm really sorry to hear about this stuff. It says that this year alone, 1,140 cases have come to light. Uh, and it's been many years uh, that scientific people have announced the risk and development of cancer among uh, the firefighters, police, and building workers who worked at Ground Zero and who were there on September 11th, 21. Okay. In 2006, the New York Sun said... Uh, that n numerous doctors were worried about the carcinic nature of the dust and debris of the collapsed towers and asked for research money. Okay. And there have been other reports in 2009 and 2013 which did conclude that there's a correlation between being exposed to Twin Towers debris <coughs> and development of cancer, especially thyroid and prostate. All right. Uh, voted in 2010, the World Trade Center Health Program uh, undertook to look after the medical needs of the World Trade Center volunteers because they had been exposed to toxins at Ground Zero. At the time, 58 types of cancer had been added to the list of retombe de la tontat. Okay, 58 more who they felt needed some compensation. Uh, there's something called the 9-11 Victim Compensation Fund, which is from the federal government, has been set up. And by the end of June, there was 1.145 demands for damages in connection with cancers. I think that's 1,145. The French tend to put periods where there are commas with numbers and commas where there are periods. Sorry, I, I keep having to remind myself that. It's weird when you see people write down prices and things here and do accounting and stuff. And these were connected with cancers, according to the New York Post. Among them, 881 were judged, you know, valid and payable. 
and only 115 were were attributed a total of 50.5 million dollars in sums going from four hundred thousand dollars to four point one million dollars. Ah, oh, that's that's no surprise to me. It really isn't. Okay, I will end now. Bye bye.